this is part two of our previous feature. Thanks for coming back and I hope you loved it just as much. Remember, part one is on my YouTube channel and all you have to do is check out our playlist to see more on urban farming. This is City Farm Girl. So once they are through feeding, they go back, they go down. Down. And set to the, the bottom. Yeah, to the bottom. Oh wow, look at that. So Don't here we have one specific type mm -hmm. of worms. Add uh, red worms. Because mm -hmm. there are a number of worms. There yes. are a number of types. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But now here we have majored in red worms. Okay. So this also a source of food for your chicken. Yeah, they are also uh, they are also a source of food for the chicken, mm -hmm. for the fish. We yeah. have uh, a good amount of protein, mm -hmm. so they are also used as a uh, supplement mm -hmm. for chicken, for fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. Like it. Yeah. Okay, Tosha. <laughs> So I really wanted to get over my fear of creepy crawlies and I think visiting George's farm was a great way to just overcome my fear. <laughs> the hardest part of this entire shoot was actually being able to hold them. Like it, I, I think we took like a hundred takes. <laughs> I don't know if I should touch one. <laughs> As <laughs> I think these things freak me out. Let me wait for Mutuli to put one on my hand. <laughs> I can't, I'm actually terrified. Should we wash them? No. Why will die? <laughs> <laughs> they are tickling me. <laughs> I have been trying to research more and that is how I have been able to come across uh, the Black Soja Fry, the other worms, the Azora Duckweed. So that is what I've been doing mostly trying to research in the internet and that is how I have been able to come across it after running about that, trying to find out where I could get that. So it has been much of research and trying to run from different uh, places. KG mode manure of compost. So it is going to range. Mm. If you are buying in terms of kgs, mm. a kg is 70 bob. Yeah. A bag of 50 kgs is 2500. Wow. A ton, 30. Wow. So it, your cows, literally, <laughs> and your pigs. <laughs> Yeah. The only thing you need them to do is eat and, and poop. Eat and yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> eat and shit. That's, That's it. That's true. Sit and eat and shit. So worms are hermaphrodites. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, even though they are, they need to mate. Oh. They do mate. Mm -hmm. And during every mating, which takes about 30 45 minutes, they give one egg, mm -hmm. which gives from four to eight young ones. Mm -hmm. uh, the eggs take a period of three weeks, from three weeks to hatch. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. If the conditions are not favorable, we can prolong. Mm -hmm. Even for a year, yeah. to wait for the conditions to be right. Once the conditions are okay, mm -hmm. they, have, they will hatch. So you said something very interesting, like they actually decide which yeah. gender to be yeah. in seasons. Yeah, they change with the seasons at times. Uh -huh. One can be a male this season. Whoa. The next season it can be a female because it have both the organs. <laughs> okay, I'm even surprised how you're even able to know how long <laughs> they can meet for. And by the way, it seems like worms perform better than human beings at this rate. How cool is that? Now, so many people wouldn't care to know about interesting facts about earthworms, but that's insane. <laughs> and I'm so sure you learned something new, right? <laughs> us really have a rigid way of thinking when it comes to farming you know we always have in mind the same old same old poultry dairy farming and of course the African vegetable farming but you know there are some untapped markets like the one that George is in and it has really put him on the map so much so that people travel from all over to actually get training on his one farm Azora. Mm -hmm. Well, George may be far away from the city, but you know what? He's grabbing our attention in a hidden spot somewhere in Kambu. I think his story really reminds all of us that we, even if we actually do want to fit in, um, sometimes we feel the need to follow the crowd, it's really important to chart our own paths. about to be lunch. <laughs> <Woo. laughs> there are so many areas that one can fit in in farming. Not necessarily going to the shamba, digging, planting. There are so many areas from marketing, uh, from production, from value addition. There are so many areas that one can look into and go make an income and grow big from there. So I would encourage uh, the young guys mm -hmm. to go into farming, research, look into interest because one thing, it's a passion, the interest you have, then you need to be consistent on what you are doing. I see that. I'm really happy we got the chance to meet Farmer George. Surprisingly, it was actually fun being on his farm. And so there you have it, a farming venture that will set you apart from the rest and is totally worth it if you put your mind to it. And as you heard Muturi say, by the way, this is a great protein supplement. So for all you gym guys looking for a protein shake, here you go. And of course, the cherry on top was getting to just take in the picturesque tea hill farms and getting to dip my hands in the cool waters of the Ruiru River. That was really nice. I could have stayed there all day. Trust me, it was amazing. But unfortunately, the sun was setting, so it was time to leave. <laughs> but I have to say, Kaga, you were good to us. <laughs>